Welcome to Steampunk. This is your host, Steampunk Bob. And we now sing Electronic Super Joy to the world. Electronic Super Joy is a platforming game that aims for high difficulty and has a rather interesting silhouette and graphic style. I'm not honestly sure if the flashing patterns thing is an issue, but the game has a warning about it, and I'm a deity, not a doctor. The soundtrack is a very exciting set of electronica beats, and it fits in nicely with the rapid speed of the bulk of the gameplay. There are some sections with forced scrolling speeds that you can hypothetically outrun, but the bulk of those I've seen so far involve being attacked by hundreds of homing missiles at once, so it's not slow paced by any means. I have two gripes about the game. The first, and admittedly most minor, is the death animation. When you die, you slowly get beamed up, then respawn. Unless you press R, in which case you respawn immediately. Hotline Miami had the decency to kill you instantly, at least. The second complaint is a bit more serious, in my opinion. Your hitbox seems... inconsistent. For a game that I assume is all about challenge, repeated speedruns, that kind of thing, I'm never quite confident if I'm safe in a spot from the patrolling laser death trap. This is the kind of game that is aware of its mechanics and actually uses some of them that another game might not consider. For example, your smash weapon instantly teleports you to the ground without you having to go through the intervening space. So, as you can see up here, I can slam straight through this spike barrier. I can't fall through that, that would kill me. But I can slam through it because I didn't touch that area in between. One of the more bizarre design decisions is the checkpoint sound effect. No matter how good I am at electronic super joy, I sincerely doubt it moistens the ladies as much as these flags seem to be suggesting. It reminds me of that over-sexualized, wake-slash-unreal tournament voice in that same respect. There seems to be a rather extensive story mode to Electronic Super Joy, especially for its price point. There are several worlds with challenge stars and quite a few levels that exist purely to gather for additional challenge. In addition, there's time trials, boss fights, even a survival mode source where you go through randomly generated levels until you eventually fail. I mean, isn't it worth standing up and taking notice when a game has hope seeking missiles in one episode? No, when I say the story mode is extensive, I mean lots of levels and time of gameplay. The main storyline is that the evil groove wizard stole my butt, and I'm gonna kill him and get revenge for it. I'm not sure if killing him will restore my butt to his rightful place, or if this would just be death following death, but that's the story. Electronic Super Joy gets a gold star from me because it has several achievements that are actually achievements. You know, the kind that you would really want to show off. It gets a confused stare from me because apparently using your slam attack on missiles causes them to explode. But if they explode because you elbow drop them, it's harmless. If they explode because they gently brushed up against you, Scotty beams you up. Overall, I have enjoyed Electronic Super Joy, especially for the price point. I got it for $1.49, soundtrack, DLC, and everything. But I haven't had too much time with this game because I've been busy having a Merry Christmas, and this is probably the last time we'll have a chance to talk for the rest of the year. So, until then, have a great holiday season and a happy new year. This is Steampunk Bob, out.